We're working on the bantamweights now into cage one. Women's bantamweights. Here's Sunny Oliveira from Brazil. Her opponent making her way in the red corner. Marina Demchuk from the Ukraine. Women's bantamweight contested at 61.2 kilograms or 135 pounds. You have Sunny Oliveira in the blue corner. Marina Demchuk in the red. Brazil and Ukraine getting ready. And Demchuk's got some great striking. She's got a nice pressure style. She comes forward. She bites down on her mouth. But she's very tough. And Oliveira has a nice in and out movement as well. She's got some great level changes. Excellent footwork. She couples that with the head work as well. She's got to throw off that head work. There we go. It's a nice right hand from Oliveira. Demchuk, of course, a southpaw. So Oliveira did a great job of circling off to her left side, to so the outside of her opponent's foot. She's trying to circle away from that power hand. A beautiful example just there of that. She doesn't want to circle into it and force herself to eat it. Again, the game plan behind mixed martial arts. Oi, big head kick from Oliveira. Nice slip. Finish with the kicks, Demchuk. <laughs> Oliver looking for the straight right down the pipe. There's the head kick. Smart play from Oliveira, given the the style of Demchuk. She's got great head movement. She does throw off that head movement, however, but when you slip from side to side, that allows the head kicks to be more fruitful. You can really pick that from the tree. If the person slips, particularly if they drop their hand when they slip, you can fire that kick up. So we're seeing Oliveira take advantage of that. That's right hand from Oliveira. Nice combinations as well. Oliveira looking to finish with that head kick. She could opt to go low as well to try and disguise it because Demchuk is a little bit wise to that. Oh, nice straight right hand from Oliveira. She immediately moves off and moves the head as well. Demchuk could start to try and employ that right hook to try and deter the, the sideways motion. She can opt for the double leg here, gets sprawled. Immediately, Oliveira separates, doesn't want any part of the ground game. And that's a smart play. She did a great job on the feet. Great first round from Brazil and Ukraine. And Demchuk, Demchuk takes a seat. Interesting. She's been forced to put on a higher pressure and forced to use a lot more footwork than she's usually uses because Oliveira bounces around so much. But the question now is who can keep that pace up? As we look at the replay here, is that there was a beautiful head kick from Oliveira. 
and she immediately steps out of range. And when she strikes as well, she immediately moves the head and she slips out of that position there. She circles off to her left side. You see, there was the beautiful head kick that connected straight up. And again, she's looking to land that because Demchuk's style, she slips from side to side. Look at that beautiful work. Round two. Inguera in the blue corner. Demchuk in the red. Straight left from Demchuk. Demchuk really looking to find a home for that straight left. Starting to slow down now, utilizing these kicks. Could be just trying to disguise this level change. It's nice footwork. Great maneuverability here by Oliveira. She circles out of of danger very well. She's always moving the head. Making it very difficult for Demtrick to target. Big kick from Oliveira. Nice left hand from Demtrick. Demtrick could start to employ the technique of driving her opponent back to the cage, cutting off the cage, forcing them to go back to the cage to disallow that footwork that Oliveira's got. Right now, if you give her the space in the middle of the cage, she can bounce around forever. But if you push her back, use the cage for your takedowns, utilize the clinch, turning back kick, there we go. There was the ample opportunity for Demchuk to advance, but she backed off. It says to me that she wants to keep this striking. But you'd argue here that Oliveira has the edge in the footwork at least. But them chick's really tough. She's such a tough customer. Great boxing as well. Always coming forward. Which makes it a very difficult customer to deal with. Oh, nice. One, two. From Oliveira. Straight right there from Oliveira. She's very accurate with these strikes. She doesn't get counter struck because she moves that head beautifully. But after she fires, she always moves the head to the side. And over. Let's take a look at the replay here. There was the turning back kick that missed, and that was the ample opportunity for Demcha because she wanted to try and score a clinch or a takedown. That was the best opportunity for her to do that. Brazil with beautiful footwork, excellent head movement as well, making it very difficult for them to, to target. And his opponent in the red corner representing Mexico, Yafet Manzo. We get back underway, Oliveira keeping up the pace here. Takes a lot of energy to be able to bounce in and out, to move laterally as well as move the head. She's definitely done the preparation before in the sense that the muscular endurance and the strength and conditioning. 
really an important aspect of the mixed martial arts game. Nice catch from Oliveira. Of course, Nogueira in the corner of Oliveira from Brazil. A massive influence there and a wealth of knowledge. Such a high level for the amateur ranks as well. That this really is the competition as an amateur to develop your skills against the best in the world. Yeah, everything asked of you is prepping you for the professional level. The weight cutting, the dieting, the game plans, the skill set. And we're seeing a, an example of that from Oliveira. She really has, has done her homework. She's worked on the skills. She understands mixed martial arts. A testament to her coaches. There's the level change from Devjit. And the third round could be a little late. She could argue that she's got to look for a finish. But it's the smart play. If she can now implore some level changes to try and bring the hands down of Oliveira, she might be able to land those power punches. Body kick from Oliveira. Left hand slap through from Demchuk. And just over a minute left to work here in the third. Oliveira with some great footwork. There's no doubt about it, she's had south pause in her sparring camps, potentially in her training camp. Vicious head kick from Oliveira, just glances off the forearm of Demchuk. Demchuk trying to close the distance and force the clinch. Demchuk trying to pull some sort of guard here, interesting. Going for broke, potentially looking for a guillotine, maybe. 20 seconds left on the clock. Oliveira still with the lateral movement. She slowed down ever so slightly, but she's still circling out of range. She's still drawing her opponent forward. Still making it very hard for Demchuk to target. Great fight between these two. A swarm of punches from Oliveira. A show of appreciation. And sportsmanship straight off up after we go to the judges scorecard to render a decision Silver on the cage, one, your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner representing Brazil. Just 